Hello and welcome to this My Floor training video. My name is Sasha and in this video I will show you how to make your game icon and how to make a game public. When you have made a game and you want to make it public, first you need to change your title, your description and your icon. Remember, your game will always be saved automatically. So if you exit this game, it is already saved as a draft. Let me show you if you enter my games. You'll see that I already made my icons for my other games. But this one is my draft. So if I enter this one, edit content, all my content is saved automatically. Okay, when you want to make your icon and you want to make your game public, you simply have to click this pencil. This is the base information for your game. And your game should contain an image, a title and a description. I will start by making my icon. So I click new image for game icon. And I'll choose an image. Here you can crop your image. You can do it manually dragging the sides like that. When you do this manually, you have to be aware that the icon that you have is in a specific size. So when I crop this image manually, I can't be sure that my image will fit the format of my icon. In my case, I'm lucky because I've chosen an image with a white background. So when I crop this manually, I can always change my background color and it's easy to find a white background color. Let me show you what I mean. I have manually cropped this image and I'm pressing send. And here you see that my image doesn't fit in the icon size, right? You see some of my icon isn't filled out by the image. But if I change the background color here, I can just make it white. And now my icon is 100% filled out. There's another way to do this. Let me show you how. Once again, I will choose an image. Choose the same one. This time, I want to make sure that my image is going to fill out the whole icon. I'll do that by switching on fixed aspect ratio. Now when I'm dragging the sides, it will keep the proportion of my icon. So now I'm 100% sure that this image will fit 100% into the icon. Let me show you. So now it fits. I don't need to change the background color. Now I want to name my game. I want to give my game a title. And for this game, I'm just going to write learning the ABCs. So this is the title of my game. It's optional whether you like to show your title or you don't. In my case, I think the title will help understanding what kind of game that you're going to play when you enter this game. So I want to show the title. So right now my title color is white and I can't really see it on my icon. I can change that by changing the color of my title. I can also make it larger, like that, or smaller. And I can change the font. Well, this is still not working. I could also switch on my title background. This will make my title pop even more. And if I go back to the white color, I think it's more visual now. Moving on to the description. In my description, I have to write something about my game, something that makes it easier for me or my colleagues to find out what this game contains and also who the game is for. So I'm going to write 
find the matching pairs and learn the ABC in an interactive way. And I'm also going to write level primary school. The more detailed you are in your description, the better. So you want to make this as easy as possible for your colleagues or for your students or children to find out what this game is all about. When I'm satisfied with my icon, my title and my description, I can now switch on published. Now this game is published at my school or kindergarten or organization. So this is an intern game. If I want to make this game globally public so that other MyFlow users can find my game, I have to switch on public. So now this game is public intern as well as extern. So now other MyFlow users can add my game to their playlist, to their floor, and other children can play this game. I would like to do that. So I switched on published, I switched on public, and now I'm pressing send. And now my game is ready to be added to a playlist and then added to the floor. And in a matter of seconds, you can play this game at your active floor. I hope you can use this video on how to make your game icon and also to make your game public. Remember, you can find other videos explaining how to make games, how to make playlists and how to add your games and your playlist to the floor. You'll find that in our video list.